Hi, ladies. I got some happy mail yesterday and I'm finally getting to it. I want to open it up. Um, we've had a really busy day today and we're actually heading back out very soon. But um, I wanted to hop on, open up some new products because if you have not heard, we are having a um, having our customer appreciation um, party July 22nd. And oh shoot, I didn't want to put this one on right away. Just a second. <laughs> um, and we have new products. Always on Customer Appreciation Day, we always have new products. So um, I have a lot of redness going on. I got a little burnt, I think, today um, because we did a sidewalk competition. If you guys haven't um, checked out my stories lately, I just posted a bunch of stuff with what I've been up to today. And I, if I get to it, I might talk a little bit about it, but, um, I'm actually just using some tan lines bronzer to just even out some of this redness. And you can tell like it's already taming it down. It's quite red, <laughs> but I also am going back out in this terrible heat. I don't want too much makeup on. So, um, I'm just going to tame it down with that tan line bronzer. Hey ladies, um, if you're hopping on, say hi. Of course, if you're watching this in replay, make sure you're um, commenting so I know you caught this. I am going to open up this box very, very soon. I just wanted to get my base um, product on first. So I'm actually going to shade up. I've been using amber for the last number of months, but I feel like since I've gotten extra color today, and over actually this last week, we went to the swimming pool. I got some tan there. Um, I'm just going to shade up. And the redness is, like I said, I'm not completely trying to comp cover it because I know I want the lightest amount of foundation on. So I'm just doing more like swirling motions. And then just pressing on maybe where I have a little extra redness, but just swirling. So, so far every day, I hope you guys have been following along. I've been featuring the new products. So, so far I showed off the lip oil and I did do a live showing that. So make sure you scroll back if you haven't seen that yet. I take, I did it in my, um, biz on my business page actually, but I forwarded it on, I shared it in this group too. So you can find it that way. Okay. So that was just my main highlight. Then let's go in with some bronzer. This is, oh, I'm so excited. I'm not going to talk too much about all. I have the new product. I'm not going to even try it today because I want to come on live and show it another time. But we have a new bronzer coming on. And if you see me, whenever I do bronzer, I also go into this illuminator that's right next to it. And that is Glow Illuminator. And so many people love using Glow Illuminator as a bronzer or they mix it with their bronzer. And that's what I do. I always mix it. And so Saint made a new bronzer. We already have, I think, five or six bronzers. We have so many different colors. Um, but they made a new one that is actually going to have some shimmer in it. I'm so excited because that is something that I know a lot of women, myself included, really do like having a little bit of that shimmer from time to time. It's not going to be crazy shimmer, I'm sure, but it's going to be just a little more glowy, which I love. Okay, I think that's fine. I'm just going to super light. Okay, let's open up this package. So there was a couple things that I could not get yet because they're going to be available at the same time as they're available for customers. So I'm going to have to wait until July 22nd for a few things too. Um, I have a plane going by that's so loud. Um, let me pull out. Okay, so one thing that is super exciting is the collection that I showed off yesterday. You will have to try that new bronzer. It is so, it's gonna be good. And I will do a live showing that bronzer sometime in the next few days. So there was a collection and it is including the square palette in our new design. And I gotta say, it's not actually a new design. It's coming back from many years ago, like 2021 or something, okay? Because look, I already have this palette. 
it says seam design. This is my all time favorite design. It's very smooth and glossy and iridescent. It's so pretty. So this one is the palette two. You can only get it in this eyeshadow collection. I'll show you, but look at, you can use this so many different ways. It will hold two full or four singles. And, um, people really, what I use this size for is I usually put like a lip conditioner or two different like lip and cheeks and I keep it in my purse or at my desk at school. Um, okay. So this is included in the collection where this is a half size brush cleaning tile. And, um, if you know our brush cleaning tile, it's just half the size. So it's not going to take up as much space. Um, and if you guys are like me, I really only use it for my eyeshadow, um, for cleaning off my brushes to switch between colors. And so a half size is probably more ideal, honestly, and it's not going to take up, like you can fit one more eyeshadow in your palette if you have a half size. So that was one. And then there's three new eyeshadows and I'm going to try out one of these tonight. Yes, yeah, such a good idea. I never even thought of it. So these are the three new eyeshadows. They're all glitter. And one, um, this is called Stevie. Um, the theme is like rock star, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. Like, it reminds me of like that. Is that, like they talk about the stardust. That's our theme. This, um, like dance floor or something in that. I don't know, you guys. It's probably a little out of my time. Um, share this one, you guys. I've showed off a couple pictures. So pretty with share, um, and Bowie. And Bowie is the one I want to use tonight. I think it's gonna be so pretty with my silver jewelry. Jewelry. It has like silver, but like iridescent in it. Like I'm gonna do it. And then I'll do other lives showing off the other ones. But I'm gonna definitely do Bowie. Let me keep it out so I don't forget. Um, and so those four singles in this collection with this palette, you're going to save so much money if you are already liking a lot of it. You're like, you're going to event. I think it's like you get one and a half of those about for free. It's crazy. So here's the new bronzer. This one is called, um, Zenit, um, Zenit, uh, how do you say it? Xanadu. That's the new bronzer. It's kind of like our high tide bronzer. It's a little bit warmer, but it has the shimmer in it. And then we have a couple new lip and cheeks. This is called Ducky, if I can open it. Ducky from, isn't that from um, Pretty in Pink? Isn't that pretty? And we have Disco Inferno. Disco Inferno. That's from a song. There we go. This one I think is a gloss, so I'm excited. I might wear that one tonight. I think that will be really pretty. Let's try out Disco Inferno tonight. Why not? Okay, and then last, oh, and then I did get another lip oil that I showed off yesterday. And you guys, I told you my favorite, favorite palette um, ever has always been the palette 27 in this design. So I finally got my palette 27. I'm gonna be filling up this bad boy so soon but it's so pretty. It, there's pinks, there's purples, there's like, depending on how the light hits it, it's so good. If you need just a really cute, very durable palette, this is a good one. It's very easy to wash off, I think, out of, compared to a lot of other ones. I just love this palette so much. So let's get back to doing the rest of my face. That's the only new products I could get. Um, the ones that I have not received yet, and I won't get them until, I can't order them until the day you guys order them is the new fragrances and there's a rollerball fragrance and I feel like there's something else. No, I think that might be it. So um, I'm definitely going to be, oh, this was the other thing. <laughs> Diamonds are forever. Now this one, this lipstick sold out within, I mean, I say hours, but I think it was less than that. So quick. This is our first ever lipstick and um, people say it is um, a dupe of this very expensive, it's called Tom Ford lipstick. And so if I get it really close, do you see how there's shimmer? It's going to go on like a gloss, look like a gloss, it has shimmer, but it does not feel gritty. So let's put it on. It's very hydrating. Like if you think about normal lipsticks, they're not really, they don't feel that hydrating to me. This one is for sure. And the nice thing about a lipstick, it's, of course, it's super portable. 
And now you could put this on over something else. I'm just going to keep it very neutral. So pretty. Um, okay, let's put that Disco Inferno. I'm going to put that one on my cheeks, I think. So here is that Disco Inferno. Nice, bright red. Mm, I'm just going to go light. This one is similar to... Um, what did they say? Is this one, this one reminds me of, oh, I know. This is going to be very similar to, um, I just put on way too much. Um, Jolene, Jolene, I showed that off the other day. Um, was it just yesterday? <laughs> um, no, I don't think it was yesterday, but, um, because like the Jolene has the shimmer in it and not everyone likes shimmer and it's a matte and I don't always like matte. This one is, I think they called it a semi-gloss or gloss. You're late to the party. That's okay. You can rewind. I have not got to the glitter yet. So you'll, you'll see me. I'm going to use, um, Bowie tonight. Okay. So this one is Disco Inferno. So pretty. It is like Jolene if you like that bright, bold orange, but you don't want the shimmer or you want it to be glossy, which I'm going to love for my lips. But this is the Diamonds Are Forever, and I don't want to cover it up. I'm going to put a little more on, a little more. Let's layer it up. It's not much for color. There's no fragrance. It's just so good. Yes, I'm definitely going to show off Bowie. I'm going to keep it very simple, I think, and just put like one base color and then just, I'm not going to go too fancy. So that's all the new releases that I got so far. I cannot wait to try the new fragrance. The new fragrance I've heard is like beachy, fruity, like it's going to be so good because you guys know me. I like that sort of scent. Okay, I'm just going to grab a quick eyeshadow brush. And then what color should I put under that? I feel like it needs to be really light. Do I have like a gray? Or I could do like a purple or something. What should I pair this with? I'm going to open it up quick and see. It's coming in different packaging than we've ever had for our eyeshadows before. So it's still in this type of packaging, but a cute little envelope. So cute. Okay, this is Bowie. Oh, she's so pretty. I might put down like a light layer of purple. Oh, you guys, it's just amazing. It's like a disco ball. So good. Hey, yes, um, this is one of my new necklaces. Do you remember, I was gonna text you, I forgot. Do you remember if it is sterling silver? Cause I'm gonna get sweaty tonight and I'm hoping that it's gonna be okay. You do, you, Sarah, you need it. It is like so pretty and I'm not, I don't even have it on yet. Like I can just tell it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna go into one of our past, I'm gonna go into this color. This is Lily. This is one of our shades of our month from before and just do a light coat all over my lid. I just don't wanna get the powder all over. And then maybe I'll pick a darker color. If you got this Lily for our shade of the month, let me know. I don't, I want to know who all snagged that when it was our shade of the month. This is going to be a really nice base. I'm going to go all the way up to my brows. Okay, that just gives it a nice base. Okay, let's go in with, um, I wonder if this one, this one might actually still be on the site. Actually, I think it might be. We'll say, um, this is Skyfall. It is a shimmer, but it's a really heavily packed shimmer. And so it is a nice like gray to smoke out looks. So go light when you're applying it and you can always build it up. So today, since I got through all of our new release stuff, today my family, well, I should say my kids and I took part in the annual sidewalk, competi sidewalk chalk competition that my town 
puts on. And last year was our first year doing it and I had no idea what to expect. I had actually just signed the kids up to do it and they all had like their ideas ready. And um, we get there and then they talked to me and they're like, mom, are you doing it? And I was like, I wasn't planning on it. And then lo and behold, I decided to <laughs> sign up as well. Which is fine because I do really like doing sidewalk chalk. I think it's a lot of fun. Am I like very talented at it? Probably not. I don't have a lot of experience with it, but I enjoy it. I am going to go on the bottom here too. Um, so I did it last year. I just used one of the techniques I learned in one of the in my art class that I interpret for because you know I get to learn sometimes when I'm interpreting, which I love. Um, and. Of course, I didn't win, but you guys, like the talent that comes out is so good. And they break it into many different categories. And we, my kids and I went to go check it all out later that night and to see like who were the winners. And oh my gosh, we were so surprised when we heard my oldest son had won last year. So he won like $50, $60 and it was such a cool like nice surprise because I told the kids we, we do this for fun it's not to win obviously it's always nice to win but it's that's not the point okay so then we decided to do it this year and I actually planned out um a little bit better than I um had in the past because like I said I didn't know I was going to do it okay here it is that's the color oh my gosh I'm going to try to just tie it on right in the middle and then bring it to the center Oh, oh, can I zoom in? Oh gosh, there we go. I feel like depending on what light you're in, you're gonna pick out different colors. Isn't that pretty? Now I do use my fingers for the glitter. Um, I think it's gonna stick to your, your uh, eye better. So pretty, so pretty. I'm gonna even bring it, I think I'm just gonna put it on all over, why not? Um, just give it to me now, I know it's so good. You gotta wait, July 20th. You'll have to use your um, shopping link that you have open and use that link and then apply. Um, you'll earn some more rewards at least. Okay. So yeah, I, that just reminded me, you guys, if you do have open, re, um, open hostess links with me, don't forget you have until July 30th to get them closed because they're going to be changing their loyalty program with customers. This will be fun just to go out tonight. Like, I think it's going to be lots of fun. I'm just kind of bringing the glitter up all over. <laughs> I just like it. Um, so then this morning we got there probably, we probably started at like 9.30 or so. And um, my oldest and I, my oldest took the longest. Um, he, I think we finally finished about 2.30. You have to be done by three o'clock. Um, we, we took a lot of breaks. Um, Who is it? I'm, I'm doing a video. I'll be done in like two minutes. We're gonna go get some water, fill up water bottles, okay? Um, but we took a lot of breaks because it like felt like 90 degrees today. I think it got even hotter later in the afternoon before, like after we left. But it was very, very hot. Um, I don't always do well in the heat. I could feel myself like, you know, starting to get a headache and I was like, okay, I need to take a break. Um, so we tried to find, luckily there was a breeze. We found some um, air conditioning when we could. We sat in the shade when we could. Um, yeah. So my daughter finished first and then my youngest finished after her like maybe an hour later or something. He took, my seven-year-old took like so much like time with his. It's so good. And it's, we're broken into like four, four groups, I think based on age. And so I think he, so my, he's seven, he's in like the youngest group. He's the oldest of the youngest group. And I honestly think all my kids have a chance of winning. They, they just, 
like really well. I'm very, very proud of them. And I, but I still tell them, I'm like, you guys, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Like I, it was so much fun. Um, so my daughter did a, a really close up of a dragon eye. Like I said, if you haven't seen my stories yet, they're all in there. I have all the pictures. Now my kids are fighting. That's always nice. Yeah, hopefully you guys can hear them. Um, and then I really hope you can't hear him. You're going to hear a door slam here in a second. Logan. There's the door slam. Oh, that's been my summer. Um, and then let's see, Logan did a lizard on a log. And then my oldest did some anime characters that he really likes. And then I knew I wanted to incorporate sign language somehow. First, I thought about doing something with makeup, but I didn't know what I could draw. So I'm not great, <laughs> but um, I'll have to show you guys some of the pictures of some of the ones that people do. They bring in like their own chalk and everything. Like I, we just are given the Crayola ones, like it's fine. Good enough for me. But the, some of them bring in their own chalk, like the really thin stuff and they're using water and tools. Like it's unbelievable. My favorite. So tonight we're going to go and we can vote for our thing. It's a, called the fan favorite or people's choice or whatever. Um, there was two I really like. There's a, one that's a really pretty fish with the background of water. It's so gorgeous and they look so realistic. It's amazing. I don't know how they do it. And then, um, the one that I probably will vote for is a Caitlin Clark one. It looks just like her. And they split the jersey into like Iowa Hawkeyes and Indiana Fever. So good. So good. Um, and I'll have to share some of those pictures, you guys, because they're really good. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think it's turned out really nice. Um, if you're going to go a little more bolder with like blush or with eyes, go a little tamer on your lips or vice versa. Um, I think that's it. So we're going to go and vote for our favorite. Listen to a little um, blues and yes, I, I will share, um, I'll be sharing pictures probably the next day or two, or maybe my stories. I'll probably, I'll probably show them too. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, so I said I wanted to incorporate sign language. So I found, um, I found an idea. I had inspiration. I did not come up with this on my own, but, um, it was signing butterfly. So it's the hands and then a, um, an actual butterfly. Um, I wanted to do some kind of art like that. So I feel like in the future, I might do more of those where I'm signing, like draw the hands. It's so hard to draw hands. So I did a little more of like abstract hands which is probably more what I can actually do. So I am going to head to that with my kids. Go see why the one is yelling at each other. Okay. And then that's it. But that, um, you guys keep following along. I'm going to keep showing off all these new releases. Um, you guys, you have to put this one on your list. These eyeshadows, like so good. A lot of them you'll see on the website already. So you can already see some pictures. Um, I don't know if you can add them to a wish list yet, but you should try. Let me know if you can. I don't know. But I will hop on live the next few more days, show off more of these eyeshadows, um, some other, like that new bronzer, all the stuff. So thanks for hopping on with me, and I will see you guys next time.